All right, this is Dr. Harris, and I'm going to talk about how we might solve questions like this, where we are given a lot of values, but we're missing some key values of resistances in a complicated-looking series parallel circuit. Now, I could say that this is actually not a very complicated series parallel circuit because it's very obvious what is in series and what is in parallel with each other, and then this parallel combination is in series with this one and so forth. Um, the first step that we're going to look at is calculating the voltage across each of these groupings. So the way that we find the voltage is, the voltage that it's given here is from this particular point to zero volts. So across here, for instance, would be, uh, let me get a pin and a color to doodle with. Ah, not gonna, let me doodle with it. All right, well, then, there we go. So, um, this is measuring 4.8 volts. If I wanted to look at this 8.1, this is all the way from 8.1 volts to the zero volts. So, what would be the voltage across just this group right here? Well, it would be 8.1 minus 4.8 and that will give me the total voltage dropped across just these two resistors so I can actually type that in real quick and we can see it's 3.3 .3 volts so between node 3 and node 4 there are here 3.3 .3 volts once I do the combination of these two, I know that it's going to get the total current this circuit has because all of these, even these parallel groupings, once you group them in as a single resistance, it will be, everything will be in series with one another. And everything in series with one another shares the same current. So once I find uh, what my voltage is for this particular group, then I can look at this voltage, my total current, and calculate my R total for that grouping. So I'm going to call that um, R4T is equal to, and we'll use Ohm's law to calculate the total. So Ohm's law is um, v equals IR, you rearrange that around, you get V, so 3.3 .3 volts, over, we've got 1.336 milliamps, and so let's calculate what that should be, 3.3 .3 volts divided by 0 0.001336 amps, that gives me about 2.4K. So that says, uh, well, well, we'll go ahead and keep the, the whole number there. So 2470. So R4 total is equal to 2470 ohms. And I know that in order to calculate parallel resistance here, uh, it's very simple. You use the parallel resistance formula. So I know that if I use that formula, then this value that I should get here uh, would be R4 total, which I just calculated to be 2470 ohms. So you just rearrange that to solve for your R4, and then you're done with that one. So that's how you would do parallel series is actually much easier. So in this particular case, I know from this node to that node, 4.8 volts drops. Uh, I don't have to really do that subtraction, but if I wanted to, I could say 4.8 minus 0 volts. That's 4.8 volts. I also noticed in this particular case that this is a series, so all of the current 
that goes through uh, one of these will go through the other one of these resistors. So I can actually calculate this V3.3 because I know that all of the current of the circuit goes through that. So um, let me, uh, I'm going to erase this over here, get a little bit of space to doodle uh, for my new equation. But basically what I'm going to do is calculate the voltage drop across only the 3.3K resistor. And what that'll tell me is, just like I'm doing up here, when I have like 8.1 volts minus 4.8, well, I'm going to have something, VR5, whatever that is, plus V3.3K, that's going to give me a total of 4.8. But I just need to calculate that. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to figure out what that will be. And I'll do it in a different color too, so it won't be too uh, nauseating to, to see. So, uh, maybe I'll do this. Okay. So, if I go to uh, this right here, I know what this value is. I've got 3.3K. I also know the current because this is a straight series circuit. Once you collapse everything down, it's going to get this total current value. So I'm going to put that together. So I've got Ohm's law, again, telling me V equals IR. In this case, I can use that directly. V of 3.3K, so this area, is equal to our I, which is 1.336 milliamps, times R, which is 3.3K ohms. So that will give me, let's calculate it, 3300 ohms times 0.001336 milliamps, or in this case amps, and that gives me 4.4, uh, I think it was 08, yeah, 088 volts. Well, that's right here. So I got most of my voltage drops across this resistor right here. So I can say how much voltage drops across R5? Well, this will be our total 4.8, this one right here, minus this guy. And that will tell me the total voltage that's across my R5 here. I'm going to call it V5. So let's see what that looks like. So 4.8 minus 4.4088. Oh, All right, I get 0. Point, oh, we'll come back here. Uh, 3912. So 0. 0.3912 volts. And so that calculation was pretty easy to come around to. Um, I've got the voltage here. And I know that the current, again, is going to be the total current in this particular circuit because if I collapsed everything down, it would all be in series, and everything in series has the same current. And in this particular circuit, my total current is 1.336 milliamps. So, uh, actually, I'm going to do this up, up a little bit so that I'll have a little, little space. So, I use Ohm's Law. Uh, so, my... R5 is equal to, and again, V equals IR, but you manipulate that. So we have the V of 0 0.3912 volts. So we calculate it down here as being the V5 value. Divide by, and I'm going to use my total current, 1.336 milliamps. And I'm using the total current because if everything collapses down, it's a series circuit, and everything in series shares that. So my R5 should be equivalent to, let's calculate that. We've got, uh, that's my voltage already. So 0 0.3912 divided by 0 0.001336 amps. And that says it's a 292 ohm resistor. And reality, 
there's a little bit of a uh, tolerance there. So approximately a 300 ohm resistor is right here. So I've shown how to calculate for both a series and a parallel uh, resistance here. You should be able to do the same kind of steps for finding these three values. So just look at this voltage minus this voltage. Um, so 12.8 minus 11.5 to find the voltage across all of these. And then these are in parallel. So we're going to use the parallel calculation. Um, we also, we know this voltage, we know that current that's going to be going through that completely uh, collapsed resistance. We're going to collapse this all into one resistor. So we can calculate what the R total should be there. Once we calculate the R total, we use that parallel resistance formula to backwards calculate our R2, and we're golden. Similarly, we're going to have uh, this setup. We have 11.5 volts minus 8.1 volts to find for the voltage from node 2 to 3. We can go ahead and combine these two into a single resistance, and then we're back down to the exact same setup as down here.